Latino. Welcome to the link up where I like to combine my questions for four or five different personalities. Today, I'm blessed with the same girls I started with, but I like to do this again because they are my favorite personalities. And if you ever met them or talked to them on Twitter or any other social media, trust me, you'll understand why. So the link up today is with Terry, with Shay, Shantae, and Brie. And they're definitely going to enjoy this because they know my personality. So now y'all get to see how we all interact on Zoom. But at the same time, the link up is anybody. So once you watch this, you're going to want to link up with me too. All right, so we're going to start. First question off the top of the dome. When I call your name, you give me one accomplishment, big or small, that you had happen either this year or in the past and what you possibly want to accomplish in 2022. Now, Terry, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big one. I'm not expecting an award. My main accomplishment, I'll just throw it out there. My main accomplishment this year, honestly, is I have gotten back on a health kick because my health has been up and down. So I think it's a good thing when you decide at 43, it's time to get your butt back in gear and take care of yourself. So that's an accomplishment for me because I got sick of being lazy. So what's your accomplishment, Terry? I've moved from the bedroom to my office. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, that, that's, that was, no, seriously, it's a, it was a big thing to actually have to go back to work. Yes. Even though it's only three days, um, I wasn't ready. And it was, I was like having anxiety and everything because of it. Um, so for me to actually get out and do it and then have to take SEPTA again. Yeah. Um, I know that. Fear. Yep. Yeah. I really don't have anything else going on in my life. So there's really well, no accomplishments. I'm 53. So it's like, what the fuck ever. You made you made the fifty three and like that's me is an accomplishment. That's why I say big or small. Um, yeah. What is something by the end of the year, or at least is there something you want to at least get done or start doing at the end of this year? I mean, you you see me health kick. I think that's a big deal because, like you said, when working from home, the anxiety can cause its pounds on my ass. I want to move. I there move. you go. It might I happen. Be closer. Yeah, I doubt it. You never know, because I want to get in my apartment again. So let's just put that out there now. I've been, and I, it's it's time to get out of Philly as much as I love it here. Um, I agree. It's, it's, I'm with you, it's, right? I'm yeah, right it's, here. It's too I agree much with now. That. It's time um, for a change. I, yeah, I would love to go to Atlanta, you know, to be down closer to the baby. I said that. You know, yep, she's going to be seven this year, and it's like, I feel like I'm missing everything. I said that. I told you that even when, when I left the Eagles, I thought that that was a sign for you to move to Atlanta. I told you that a couple of years ago, I think on Twitter. But mm -hmm. okay, I like that answer because you and me both and anyone else working from home, as you're watching this, I'm sure we're all in that transition where if you haven't been back to work in 2022, you're about to be. And it is a change mentally. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it doesn't work for people. I mean, I'm, I have anxiety. It's gotten worse in some ways some ways back at work and then less in others because I've used my energy in other ways thank God right. for friends my bestie moved to Miami so that's why I say all y'all who want to move do it because it's been a pain for her but it's going to get better and I told her that because she needed to get out of Philly we all do um, we just got to make a major change for us we're not getting any younger so I want to ask that question now accomplishment wise to Brie um, because I know as I've watched you through Twitter, you definitely graduated. So I think that's a major accomplishment, but what else girl? We say yes, Thank clap, clap, you. clap, snap, snap, snap. <laughs> um, I'm, I just started my master's program in January. So hopefully smooth sailing, I'll be graduating with that degree next year. Um, so that's a, that's a big thing for me, but what I want to accomplish this year is I need to move. I want to move and I want a new job. So I'm speaking both of those into existence right now yeah. because yeah. this job is not doing it for me. I, I can't, I can't, Same. I've had it up to here. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over it. And I need to get out of Philadelphia because there's just way too much going on around me. It's getting too close to home. So I need me and my baby got to go. <laughs> yes babies and i'm back to you shante um as the same because i know you've been busy with a lot of stuff regarding autistic um work with for your son but also i think for you personally i think we said this even on our five questions i had with you uh, about a couple months ago that there was a lot of things you wanted to do so tell me what's on your mind for 2022 as far as accomplishments and what you have accomplished 
Um, man, what do I want to do this year? I definitely um, want to get at least two projects out this year. Um, I definitely want to move. Moving out of Philly legally, I can't do that yet. That's another story. But um, at least move into a bigger space for me and Levi. Um, rack up more awards for my books because I deserve it. And I'm speaking that into existence. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Nobody gonna congratulate Again. me. I'm gonna congratulate my dad. I was about to say. <laughs> yes. That's how you should do I it. work hard for those mm -hmm. books. <laughs> Damn right. Um, and just be a better individual for myself personally love myself more give myself more grace give myself yep. um that time to just take care of myself I haven't been doing it it's just all been and I love my son dearly y'all know I, I love yep. my son dearly but I gotta pull some of that energy that I put into Levi and put it into myself and I don't do it enough and yeah I'll be turning 40 in 24 days so She's like it's <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, I've been reflecting a lot as far as like how I was when I was 30, how I was when I was 35, and now about to be 40, things that didn't, that doesn't really matter, that matter back then, it matters now, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's more just like focusing with me, making myself a priority, and that said, I'm not worrying about dating, I'm not worrying about none of that, that's not even a priority, because it's trash, The it's a, it's a swamp in the city not, of Philadelphia and all the ladies can say you haven't experienced no. it up here I haven't even dated my <laughs> nothing out there making me want to go out there I might get my blood pressure low and, and stay, in stay in a house <laughs> stay in a house just date the rose <laughs> <laughs> yeah B.O.B.'s work for me hey okay listen but, the uh, rose is the truth Okay. I heard. Yes. I heard. Yes, it is. And all those who know should know. Anyway, um, but Shay, oh. speaking of health, because I know last Just time that. I talked to you, we were talking about health, ma'am. So what is your big accomplishment this year? I think I already know one of them because you told me the last time, but go ahead. The job? Moving. Didn't you move too? Oh, well, I'm in, I've been in this apartment for, uh, this is my second year, I think. Okay um new job so, yeah that was new. yeah the new job so i started a new job in um uh shoot november of last year mm -hmm. um i've been um training and um i actually got like really great feedback so many of you guys don't know in my field of it i'm the only female in there and then i'm the only black female i have another uh black co-worker but anyway uh -huh. he tells me like you know the higher up you know everything's um a lot of people are saying great things about you and like a lot of pe a lot of us believe that you're going to make it being that um you're the only female that we see that's going to survive in this group of uh of men uh -huh. so I was like wow that's very that's like, big Yes, yeah, big. Huge. like again, I just I come to work, I do what I have to do. You know, I always keep my my nose clean. So hearing that, I was like, it was just more uh more motivation to keep grinding um Good. within you know work. So I was like very shocked to hear that. Um, so I would say that's accomplishment as I'm you know ha as I've been with my new job mm -hmm. and uh, I me like paying off uh debt and stuff like I got um email uh yesterday from like what is it credit karma it was like your yeah. credit went up like 172 72 points or something like that oh, I was like oh <laughs> I, thought I was doing I was something like, with well, 12 hey. points <laughs> right <laughs> so like me seeing my credit yeah you know Anytime. Build up, yeah, and it's like I'm like yo I'm really you know really doing a damn thing and like so yeah and then like trying to uh, like kind of like what Shantae said I would say I've I could do more self-care I went to Chicago last weekend and it was um everything so trying to do more uh whether it's small trips or even like mm -hmm. going on a train somewhere I don't know like just you yeah, know now. taking time out for myself so 
Well, that's good because I think movement yeah. is the main key. Because I mean, this point mm-hmm. we getting into spring, y'all, and yeah, I, like I said, I'm getting tired of my hibernation period too. But at the Listen, same time, I'm outside. <laughs> Yes. I know why. Yes. I yep. know why you're outside, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> but I mean, your birthday is coming up, so it's kind of it's kind of duh that you're going to be outside anyway. At some point, I refuse <laughs> for you to turn forty inside. I don't want that for you anyway. But, um, okay, next question. Uh, speaking of which, okay, I'll start with Terry for this one. Now, <laughs> if there was a movie that you could star in with a love interest what genre of movie would you want to star in and then who would your co-star be? <laughs> I knew that I could read your lips. What the fuck? <laughs> it would be a, a comedy. It would have to be, yes. It would have to be. Um, who would I want my co-star to be? Is there someone like you could see yourself in a movie with? Even if it's not a romantic interest, is there someone like I like? I would want to be, I would want to be in a movie with that person. You know, I always say Michelle Bateau is your relative. So I say, y'all be playing sisters. <laughs> that would um, be amazing. I don't know. I. You want me to come back? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll be thinking you thinking of a male. I already know. I think Shantae knows who I'm thinking about too because we might have the same movie star if you're thinking about a male. But Who are y'all thinking about? Shantae, who would you I, want you to know, play? You know I'm going to say Michael B. Jordan. Yes! You know I'm going to say uh, <laughs> <laughs> i would love it Go i almost ahead. forgot wait because shot take okay so if, would yeah. you would, would genre of movie if you had a genre of movie you should already know if it's gonna be michael b jordan who, what it's gonna be <laughs> oh come on it could be rom-com um, porn <laughs> you say oh, porn wait erotic erotic neural <laughs> Black noir, what do they call that? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a 50 Shades of Grey type of, you know. <laughs> so we're going to have to watch y'all like sitting yeah, in the mask after dark. Bumping ugly. Whatever it is. <laughs> I, oh my God. You know what? Hey, you look, you write poetry, you're an artist. That does not shock me. And I'm not, no problem. <laughs> All right, Brie, you're up. What if there was a movie? Uh, the genre would probably have to be either a drama because I'm low-key drama queen <laughs> um, or it would have to be like some like psychological thriller type type movie. That makes sense for you. Yeah. Um, and my co, let's see, and it may have to be it may have to be mm, Idris Elba. Get, that was my. Because <laughs> I, so I love that man. Okay. Yes. Especially with his natural, like, yes. accent. Yes. yes. What ghost? A black British man. I'm sorry. We ain't, we ain't doing that over here. Nope. I got Idris. <laughs> <laughs> We're not nope, sharing. Fight him. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Terry, did you think you're a co star yet? Are you still? Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> what? That would be funny though. Now, would he be like a best friend? Would he just be? Oh, he wouldn't be no love here. interest. Like he's like four foot five. I'm five ten. What the hell? <laughs> That's I what could like make it funny. Hart. I mean, he dates people taller than him. His wife is taller than him. It's no shame. Anyway, That's true. all right, Shay. Um, it it'd be Idris Elba, same as oh, Green. We, sh- we sharing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be like a do the Minaj movie. <laughs> Right. It'd be like comedy oh. action. Okay. So, yeah. I, okay. I watched a movie with him on Netflix um, a couple of days ago. It was an action movie and it was pretty good. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. The harder but, you know, but, you know, me, I got to, my crazy self, it can't be like, I got to add funny to it. So, that's why I said comedy action. So. I'm about to say, there has to be some aspect of comedy because I think rock <laughs> times are the best. Right. <laughs> Shante right. being true to herself, I said, yeah, it would have to be a, some kind of erotic thriller or something. <laughs> yep. I can just picture her with the hair and the look and everything and then the boots mm-hmm. all pushed up. I'll be like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Simmer down. Okay. <laughs> all right. So next question. Um, now I'm gonna start with Terry with this one because I know we both watched Winter Olympics were on this year. And did you watch and what sport caught your eye the most if you did engage in any of the Winter Olympics activity? For me. Yes. Um, you know, you I watched mean- all the, I've watched the Olympics. Like, I'm yeah. Miss USA when it comes to the Olympics. Um, why, why do you get into it? Because some people- I said- always have since, uh, since I was a little girl. It's, uh, 
Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics. Um, I like the skating. Me too. Um, mm -hmm. I like curling. I really no, enjoyed why? watching curling. I, I don't just understand. Did. It, to me, you I do don't understand kitchen. it. I don't <laughs> understand it. What the fuck is that? I, I it's it's just interesting. Um, I don't I don't see the points. How do you score? Like I'm still trying to understand what what is the advantage? It looks like shuffleboard to me. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Shuffleboard. Right, that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they look stressed. They're all like. <laughs> I would have fell. Like I could see me right now trying to do this, and me and the little broom would just fly. It would it would be a mess. Yeah, the um, hand coordination. Mm -mm. Yeah, and um, I like the skiing. No, speed skating. Yeah, speed skating. Speed skating. Yeah, because that girl that won. Yeah, the black the Aaron that won. Um, yeah, I, I have, I'm like with you. I like the snow, the skiing too. I thought that they obviously had issues with that skiing because they said that hill was problematic because they said well, they've never they've never been on it before. Yeah, none of them have ever. Um, so they were falling, and what's but, her name? Um, she, I don't think she ever finished the race. Um, no, she didn't. Schifrin or Kayla Schiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So who else was watching the Winter Olympics out of us? Was anybody else really peeping it? Look at so it um, I was watching the um the snowboarding, like the snowboarding events. The oh, one yes. there was like a couple of them and <clears throat> even with that like people were falling i was like what is mm -hmm. going on this year everybody crashing and falling like like the one girl i was like she had to break her leg or something but what ended up happening like she um was it the skiing no 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 i'm sorry it was the um the ski jump one where the girl came down and girl. broke her ski and landed on one leg one ski <laughs> i was yes. like yo that was him. Mm -mm. That was like, she, to me. <laughs> she was like Bam! What? Right? <laughs> mm -mm. It seemed very dangerous this year. I was like, no, somebody's going to die. Oh, wait a minute. How <laughs> are they going to have it? How are they going to have the ski jump right beside a nuclear power plant? Right. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. are setting this up. <laughs> this is why I don't watch mm -mm. things like that. Because why, that you know would irritate the hell out of me. You know, watch yeah, it. All them athletes going to have no. cancer. Watch. I I wanna, I'm more of a summer Olympics because, you know, mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, track. Summer. Track, but yeah. I like the other sport, like swimming, all yeah. the other uh, sport. I'm mad that I really tune into the Winter Olympics this year. Is it, st well, is mean, it still on? Is it like no? Over? It's over. It's been it's been Dang. over, but yeah, it, it ended like two, two weeks, weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, watched wow. for the figure skating because the figure skated that whole controversy with that Russian girl. And, oh uh, god, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. that's that's the only reason why I was even remotely interested in it. Because I said to myself, I said, she's 15 years old, though. But then after a while, I said, you know what? No, you should know better than put a 15 year old. But you can't say that. You can't say she should know better because you forget she's under the Russians. And Vladimir Putin, they've been doing that to them kids forever and ever and ever. That's why they had to go in as the rock. Like, you don't know if she knew she was taking steroids or whatever. They could have been giving it to her and she didn't know it. She's 15. They're not going to stand there and tell right. Vladimir but, Putin. And they can't, they can't compare her situation to Sakari's because yeah, was it, was so... the, it was the U.S. that banned her. Like, it had nothing to do with no committee or anything. Right. And, like, Russia has always been known for taking shit, yeah. right so it's, it's like, happened to the gymnasts too yeah. they was like remember like a lot of the russian gymnasts was always getting <laughs> mm. yeah and i said to myself i said y'all really think we are dumb and it got to the point where even okay the only thing with the shikari thing was that when i thought about it at first i was mad but then sending me i was like wait a minute but hers was she didn't have to smoke weed whereas this girl and that wouldn't have enhanced her performance because weed doesn't make you faster if anything, it slows you down. So no, right. And it's not an enhanced. What people are missing is it I can hide that. other things that she possibly could have possibly been taken. Been taken. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Weed is very small, but at the same time, you're a professional athlete. This is this is the the track coach, track former oh, runner. Like you're we right. all know the rules. Like Come on now. I, that was I just get, dumb on her part. Right. Was, I get yeah. I can't tell you how to grieve. Right. But like, you know, you can't be mad at the consequences, you know, when you get in trouble. So I mean, that's right. why they're there. That's kind of where I'm at. And don't be mad just because Jamaica smoked your ass. You should have just been like, all right. 
I Hello? maybe shouldn't have, I should have worked a little harder, you know, instead of trying to right. do, like, well, the more she talked, I was like, just show up doing work, show up because now you're talking too much, and her youth started showing, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, stop, so she, don't turn it to this whole, we're coming down on the black girl thing, no, it wasn't, right. she, was, right. she was yelling out, I got this, I got, okay, if you got that, then why'd you lose, you know, like, right. Exactly. Um, you know, there's only so much grace we're going to show you when you keep talking, knowing that you right you messed up, and it's a race. It's not like she's not going to come back. Um, right. I want her to come back and do what we saw at the Olympic trials before right. we found out that she yeah. tested positive for you know had marijuana in her system. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't, so mm. look, all I know she's is that got, she was I'm like she was right. like that with marijuana. Measure her without marijuana. So my whole thing is now you got every reason to train even harder because exactly if that's exactly. you on if that's you after smoking weed and distress then you clean and then yeah so who knows exactly just just focus on your work instead of focusing on your weave and your nails like just prioritize because and stay off it of, I, I mean i can't tell you to stay off of social media but like stop feeding into social media like just girl just just it, work it feeds out into and it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just it, work out and so that's what the EU players do. I mean, players do that too. Now the social media is yeah. out there. It's like there's a point after a while where that doesn't help your that what doesn't help you. Like you put right. it out there and you coming out at people who basically it's almost like people with, you know, no face. Like you're just yelling into the sky. And it's like just exactly. go work. You know, right. all you gotta do is show right. and prove. That's basically your best revenge is success. So all, all right, like well, oh God, I thought Bree left me. <laughs> all right, so we we're going to move on to, uh, all right, there's always a relationship question. Um, and only because I'm thinking about it now at my age, because it's just never something that ever came up to me. Um, Brie, I'm going to ask you, is marriage still important to you in this day and age? Why or why not? Um, it is. I mean, I have, you know, I have a kid who father is not there. So I want to be, I, I want to give her a good example of what a healthy relationship looks like, because that's not something that I had mm-hmm. growing up. You know, I had, you know, cousins that obviously stayed together. They're still married to this day and they're my examples, but I want my daughter to have an example like that from me that she sees every day. So marriage is definitely, it's, it, it's very important to me. And, you know, I hope one day that it happens, but I'm not rushing it because, you know, some men out here are trash and they make me sick. So, and honestly, marriage is, is not something is. you should rush. I feel like if you're going to be and make a commitment, make yeah. it a com- there's no timetable on that stuff. You see people get married and committing themselves at 70 these days. And people don't, some people don't fall in love till later in their lives anyway. I feel like you have more time anyway. I feel like as you get older, you get wiser anyway. So, why rush into it? If you know, I know tons of people who married since they were in college. I personally don't understand that because I feel like you still got a lot of wild oats, oats to, you know, what's the saying, wild seeds or oats to sell, whatever they say. Mm-hmm. Right. I just feel like there's still, because at some point to me, I feel like when you're with somebody since college or high school that long, like what else do you know out there? And at some point grow apart, I would think. Um, my parents got, got divorced after 34 years. I never thought that was going to happen. But it it's not one of those things that soured mm-hmm. me. It's just more of those things. I think for me, it was just not a priority because it, it took long enough for me to finally realize like I got to get my life together. So it's like thinking about marriage is a whole nother five years down the line, whatever. Um, Terry, what are your thoughts on marriage these days? I don't have any. I don't ever plan on doing it. Um, okay. I, I'm at the point, as old as I am, I just um, can't imagine giving up my independence Mm-hmm. Um, I can't imagine sharing my bed. <laughs> Same. Girl. Um, I like <laughs> I understand though. You can come into my bed, but you gotta get out. Get out. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, <laughs> not, yeah, that's like what I mean. Idea. I didn't mean oh God. I'm um sorry. <laughs> I I don't know. I just um Terry don't have to say a lot for me. I always just laugh because I feel like she's so real that I'm just like, <laughs> mm-hmm. I help it. Being in a relationship at all doesn't really, I don't even know if that's something I want. Mm. Um, like I said, the independence now, it's been so long. Um, yeah. I just, 
I'm not for everybody. So I um yeah. I think it would be hard to find someone that can actually really and truly understand me and be able to deal with me. And I don't I don't feel like putting time into that at this at this love to be a special girl. A special <laughs> man. You say? I say he going to be a special Negro or special exactly. man. Exactly. <laughs> um, that's just too much work right now. Amen. All right. Uh, Chase, how are you feeling, honey, about marriage? I believe uh, marriage is still a goal for me. Um, I'd say right now at 32, I'm not, there's no rush. Like I'm like I'm vibing right now. Um I and I like I look at my parents uh marriage. I think they've been married, I wanna say 34, 35 years now. So like um of course for me, you know, hopefully finding somebody where I could, you know, be married that long. Mm-hmm. Um, that'd be nice. But I'd say right now, I'm like, I'm I'm it's not you got time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I you, got time. The, you, you at that stage because where me and Terry are okay. at this point, we both kind of like. But yeah, I do there. want to have. So like where I'm at though, like, and this might be backwards. I mean, because I always said I do want to get married before I have children first. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like you know, I ain't trying to be in that age age range where you know pregnancy would be like kind of hard. I re- High risk, right, yeah. high risk. So high I'm risk. like, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't, if I was to get pregnant two months from now, I'd be okay. And you know, I'm married. So mm-hmm. yeah. I understand. So is that, I mean, are we, are we, are we speaking that into existence right now? Or are we like, you just like, you know, we speaking my womb, well, my uterus and all that. I mean, <laughs> Listen, because if I start having these y'all fish, I'm coming to hey. you. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I think it. Shay would be a fun mom right. though. At the same time, I think you'd be yeah, a she funny. Would. You'd oh, be a thank hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she would. She would. She would provide a child with lots of sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> and how to troll fans on Twitter. For real? <laughs> Professional social media bandit. <laughs> All right, Miss Shante, oh, how do you feel about oh, marriage? Yeah. Still feel like it exists how you feel about the future if you had to ask me this when I was like in my 20s I'd probably be like yeah absolutely now I don't know it's 